Welcome back to Taylor's of Tech. It is the end of an era. We've had MacBook month. I unboxed the Function Keys MacBook Pro. I unboxed the Touch Bar MacBook Pro. And now we're finally ending with the grand finale. 15 inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. Now I know a lot of you guys out there think I'm basically made of money. I'm really not. In fact, just for you guys on this channel, I've really been wiping out my bank account. So no, I did not buy the maxed out version MacBook Pro. This is the cheapest 15 inch version you could buy. I was really close to not getting it just because I prefer the 13 inch size. I think that's way more portable. And and this has some good weight to it four pounds as stated but you know i really need an upgrade from my imac that i've had for four years now i need something with some real power and this has some real power i get there's complaints about it i've addressed all of them a billion times so let's just focus on the amazingness of 15 inches of aluminum gold and there it is wow yeah it's quite a bit bigger than the last one i'll definitely compare transfer speeds to the function keyboard version macbook pro the smaller one as well as the 13 inch with touch bar one but man yeah that's got some weight it's not as crazy heavy as i thought it'd be though so that's nice we know what's in here there's USB-C and there's documentation whatever we get that okay let's see if we can get some of that apple smell oh it's strong with this one almost a hint of syrup that's weird i don't know why i smell that there, I, there's really some like maple syrupy smell to this just not bad i'm not complaining all right and of course boots up right when we open it and for those asking out there yes i'm keeping this one this one is not being sent back okay oh so much power before me and it boots right up there's that touch bar thank god you know what i love about the design of the new macbook pro is there's very little wasted space the speakers go right to the edge of the unibody the trackpad fills up that entire bottom section there's plenty of space to work with that's what i love about it okay continue i guess up here there's quite a bunch of empty space you know there's quite a bit of blank space up to the monitor but i like that the keyboard is centered yes touch bar is back but yes this is definitely bigger than before i'm not used to this size yet but i think i'll get used to it kind of like how i was kind of amazed of the size of the 6 plus back when that came out i think i'll get used to it very quickly though i feel like that since there's more aluminum on the surface of the macbook now that the keys make a bit more noise when you're typing on them maybe that's just me i don't know and as we can see here the trackpad is very good at palm rejection see i'm resting my palms on the trackpad they're not clicking the mouse isn't moving around but when i switch to my pointer it works just fine which is great a lot of people were worried that you would accidentally set it off all the time no they thought that through. I definitely feel like the keyboard feels a little louder. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Maybe it's just more echoey or something. You know what I'm amazed by is those people out there who still want 17 inch MacBook Pros. Cause to me, this feels huge. Again, I've only had a 12 inch MacBook and then a 13 inch MacBook Pro in the past. So I don't have much frame of reference, but still it's hard to even comprehend a 17 inch version of this thing. So yeah, this has got 256 gigs of solid state storage, four USB-C ports on the side here. Those are Thunderbolt three that can support 5K video output. What is it called exactly here? Radeon Pro 450. With two gigabytes of GG or GDDR5 memory. You know what that means, good for you. i7 core, 2.6 gigahertz quad core. And look, the speed of the regular 13 inch touch bar MacBook Pro was great when we tested it. It could edit 4K footage no problem. This is double that and with an i7. So I'm really excited to see what kind of power I can throw at this thing and what can like stump it. Also, 16 gigs of RAM, that's welcome. I don't really get the people out there who really, really wanted to see 32 gigs of RAM. First of all, that's not super common on laptops. I get that's an option, but but if you're buying a MacBook, you're really buying some more portability features than you are hardcore specs. And to be honest, there's not a whole lot of uses for 32 gigs of RAM. At this time, maybe sometime in the future, it'll be very useful, but only if you're like a 3D modeling expert, because I render all kinds of 4K footage, 60 frames a second stuff. RAM doesn't have much to do with that. That's more about multitasking features. I think 16 is going to be plenty. I have 16 on my iMac right now. Never really have crashed it. It may have happened once or twice in the four years I've owned it. This is a laptop, so you're not going to be doing as as much with this just because you have you know less screen space to work with let's see what else we got in the box just for kicks i know it's in there giant old usb-c charger here how high is this number is this in the 80s 87 watt usb-c power adapter jeez so should i take my usb-c to lightning cable and plug this into my phone or would it you know turn it into a note 7 We've got our lovely usb-c to usb-c charger here unravel that for the first time i wonder if they packaged this in canada because i can just <laughs> 
I can smell it. I can smell the syrup. That's probably offensive somehow. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Here we go. We got touch ID. Now, usually because of my psoriasis, they can't remember my fingerprint, but let's remember it for kicks anyway. I'm not getting haptic feedback like I do on the phone, but I guess it's a laptop. I can't do that. Keep going to capture the edges. Actually, I'm never really going to log in with this because I have my Apple Watch that'll automatically log us in. So whatever. I guess it's there for Apple Pay True. Oh, we're to the set up your Mac thing. Button right up, please. Got this MacBook Pro. Yes, and we'll boot it up. Wow, what a big display. We got lots to play with now. Lots of that touch bar. That scrubbing volume. Oh, I missed that. So smooth. Open up Safari. We get those tabs in. Okay, there's so much to play with. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot to set up with this guy in terms of Adobe and different apps. And needless to say, I'm very, very excited. This is your Apple Cheap here, and I will see you in the next one.